Welcome everybody. We at the National Centre of Literacy and Numeracy for Adults have developed a suite of resources designed to support learners who are preparing to work in the agricultural field. Now the idea of these resources is that they support tutors to develop the literacy and numeracy skills of their learners. Now to be sure that we created resources that were really relevant to the tutors working out there in the fields, we interviewed a range of tutors from different areas, for example agriculture, horticulture and so on, and we asked them a couple of questions. The first of which was, what are those areas that your learners really have difficulty with in terms of literacy and numeracy? You know, and just heard them out and what are those areas particularly that learners are having trouble with? And number two, we asked them, what are those areas that you really have trouble teaching? Like what are those tricky little subjects and so on? And what arose really were three main themes. The first theme was that tutors said that learners had a lot of difficulty learning from the workbooks. That is reading to learn. So having to read the workbooks, learn that material, and then be able to recall it and actually use it. The second thing was around the need to be able to write clear and concise incident forms, incident and accident forms. And, uh, and a lot of tutors were saying this was quite difficult for the learners in terms of the literacy skills, knowing how to structure incident reports and knowing what to write. And then there were spelling issues and all of these things. So that was something that continued to pop up. And that also came back from the feedback from learners who are out there in the workforce uh, talking about some of the areas that they have particular difficulty with. The third thing was to do with ratios. And this was kind of uh, right across the sector as well, related to things like perhaps mixing petrol and oil mixes, uh, putting together sprays, weed killers and so on, putting together drench, a whole lot of products that students will be using out in the workforce required a knowledge of ratios and a knowledge of liters and kilograms and grams and milliliters and so on. So we've developed resources around three main areas. There's more in there as well, but these are the three main ones. The first one is helping learners to read to learn so they can maximize those workbooks. There are some great books out there. So they have strategies with which to be able to read those books and learn from them. The second one is around writing uh, clear and concise incident reports. And the third one is around ratios. And that's designed for learners who have very little idea of how ratios work and then takes them right through to being able to um, apply that knowledge to more complex ratios and so on. The practicalities behind putting together our sprays with the liters of water and so on, all of those things. So what we've done is we've put together a suite of resources that address each of these issues. And we hope that these resources do three things. The first is we hope that they would contribute to your program design. And what we mean by that is that you sit down, you have a look at these resources and perhaps you think where they might fit into the overall program design in order to help your learners through sticking points on the course. The second thing is to provide practical hands-on activities that you can use with your learners straight away. And we've really endeavored to make these activities hands-on and tactile so your learners will enjoy them and you can just run them straight away in classrooms. And we should add that all of these activities have been used in agriculture and horticulture classrooms as well as a range of others and they've all been very, very successful. And the third thing is that we hope these resources would stimulate tutors to thinking about more things they could do in the classroom. We would love it if people were just to look at these resources and think, cool, you know, I think I could use that. In fact, I think I could make it even better. And then it would kind of snowball new ideas that people would be able to use. Now, the way we've organized these resources is into specific content areas that start and transition your learners from not having a whole lot of skill in that area right through to being fully developed in that area. And these resources are put together in three different ways. The first is video clips. And the video clips are a bit like this one in that they demonstrate ways of using the activities or doing the activities uh, and they will also be sequenced so you can follow them through and they're just there to give you practical ideas about what you could do. The second type of resource is a teaching and learning sequence that will be available as a PDF. And what these are designed to do is act as a sequence for your learners that starts out very simple and then gradually becomes more complex. And basically they're like a learning plan and they lay out step by step what you might do with the learners to develop their skills in a particular area. The third type of resource are supplementary resources that support the other two and these might be handouts that you can use with the learners or cutouts and so on. To finish up, we really hope these resources are useful for you in transitioning and supporting your learners from being learners on a course uh, to gaining successful employment out in the primary industries. We wish you all the best in your tutoring. 